Hello, hello, hello. So I'm just checking something as I'm jumping to my broadcast. <laughs> oh, this is good. Try and do this broadcast. Excuse me a second. I'm having some challenges with my... Uh... <laughs> okay, it's going to go the way it's going to go. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. I was think checking something I've got to do do not disturb this time, so if I get interrupted, my apologies. Um, I'm supposed to do that and I keep forgetting. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. I'm glad you're here. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. Christy, my friend, I haven't seen you. I just saw your post on Facebook and watched your video, and I shared it because it was awesome. Love your new music. Um, so, again, I do this daily broadcast called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this one is number 285. And... These topics run the gamut around relationships, masculine and feminine polarity, um, dating, relationships, romance, purpose, all sorts of things. And today's came up as an idea to hit me. I was actually, um, I don't know where it came from today. It came from somewhere. And today's basically is stop faking it. Um, being real, being authentic, being um, who you are in dating and relationship is so much easier and a lot less hassle, and it's healthier too. So I'm going to get into that a little bit. Just short, because I've got a client call in 25 minutes, and these usually, usually, by the way, if you haven't watched my broadcast before, these usually run 10 to 12, 15 minutes, so I'll be done with plenty of time for that. So, hello, Yvonne. <laughs> it's so much easier to see, to be you from the beginning. Yes, yes, indeed, it is. So, um, why I want to speak about this is... Oh, that's where it came from. <laughs> um, to be totally transparent, I have been um, courted by a matchmaker to be one of her clients. And so she set me up on a date that's coming up at the end of this week. And she's playing very coy with her client. So I don't know who it is or anything about her or, any, or anything like that. And I'm just sitting with this feeling about how it is to be in this blind faith and trust at the same time as also being real. And I said to her very clearly, you know, the work I do puts me in a very interesting place when I go on dating sites or on matchmaking um, meetups. It's hard to meet somebody. Um, it's, <laughs> I'll say this, it's hard to meet somebody and not tell them that I've written a book about relationships, I coach on it, and I have lots of female clients. And for some women, that's very threatening. Understandably so. But if I was to not say that and just say, yeah, I'm a coach, they can ask, what do I do? And I'd say, well, I help women find love. How's that going to make my, client, my date feel? So I'm in this place of having a quandary about this. So I'm just sharing that with you at the same time and saying, don't fake it. <laughs> Be real in relationships or in dating. Where am I... Um, um, what's the word? Where my, where my ru feathers get ruffled, that's the way of putting it, where, the, where my feathers get ruffled is where people put out fake profiles. On dating sites, they use pictures that are 10 years old. But this is the obvious stuff. I'm talking about when you actually go on a date and you make up stories about who you are. Or you don't tell them the truth about the fact that you're caregiving your dying mother or something. Or that your kids are at their at your exes because that's their time to be with them and you're extremely depressed by that. If you're out with me and that's going on and you tell me that, I'll feel closer to you. So first of all, we don't fake it by making stuff up. You become closer with the person because you're not having the walls of, of, of um, um, falsehood between you. You'll actually be transparent which is easy to get to connected. That's one thing. Secondly, you want to have to keep track of what you said. And this is one of the biggest things that I've discovered for people or recognize people for. When you make up lies about stuff, you've got to remember who you told what to, and it's really challenging. When you're transparent, it's all the same. So it's so much easier. Third piece of this is the person you're meeting gets to know who you really are. And they will know, and this is a good thing for you, whether they want to be with you more quickly than if you made up stories that they fell in love with. If they fall in love with the stories about you, it's not the truth. What's going to happen when they find out the truth about you? Not going to be pretty. So the third thing is less heartbreak. As much as you may not get what you want initially, now it's the thing. 
some people, and I'm going to name genders because it works on both sides, will make up stories to get their goal with somebody because they want the pleasure of having them in bed or having the romance with them that lasts as long as it lasts till the, till the truth comes out. I'm not talking about those people because those people won't listen to reason. They won't want to be coached and they won't, they won't get any help. But for those of you who are looking for better ways to be in relationship and romance, my invitation, recommendation, encouragement to you is to try on being totally transparent and um, clear. So when you're with somebody, there's no pretense going on. There's also no withholds going on. Now, have some, have some um, uh, presence of mind in this. Don't just go blooding at a whole life story in the first date. That might not be worth doing. And plus the fact you want to save some mystery for the second or third date. But to speak the truth in every interaction on the phone and when you're on dates is much more conducive to connection and to intimacy. And if that's what you're looking for, which I hope you are, being real and transparent is much healthier. Because the dance of relationship shouldn't be based upon dodging bullets and pretending to be what you're not. It, but that's what people do, especially in this town, Los Angeles, that is. There was a piece in that just flew by. They do that. Okay, come back. What was it? It will come back if it comes back. Okay, so <laughs> welcome to my mind. <laughs> it does this strange stuff in my Facebook lives. The content comes through the way it comes through. Um... There's one more piece in there. There was, but I'm not sure where it is. Okay, I'm going to keep going if I have anything left. Um, if you haven't watched my broadcast before, by the way, these are my daily talks. I talk about love and relationships, masculine and feminine polarity, and that sort of thing. And the particular thing about dating is it, it's a challenging place to play. Part of the issue is that people are putting on a lot of pretense. Now, let me, okay, let me go this part. This is coming up now. If you've been using the dating apps like Tinder, Plenty of Fish, that sort of um, approach, your odds of meeting someone who's absolutely real to the pictures they post and the connections they have when they talk to you is probably about 50-50 shot. And I'm being generous. There were some surveys out about Tinder in particular where there were so many people on Tinder who were already in a relationship looking for someone to basically cheat with. And if you were that person they cheated with, that's going to be messy. So I can't fix them, but I'm going to help you, <laughs> which is how to stay true and authentic to yourself. Because if you are being transparent and real with somebody, it's encouraging to them to shift in that place too, because there is the question that comes up, well, if I'm being real and authentic, how can I promise make the other person real and authentic? There is a certain level of trust, yes. But at the same time, you have this ability to be a, res a resonating magnet Yes, a resonating magnet. I just made that up. By being true and authentic and really transparent and being, being really who you are, you create a vibrational frequency, a magnetic pull in a way, that will encourage the same from the person you're with. Now, once in a blue moon, it doesn't work, but most of the time, it actually brings them into the space of being transparent and honest with you as well. Now, this also requires an internal thing, which is to be looking for that truth from the other person. So it's actually holding a space. So not only just sharing your perspective from an authentic and real place, but holding the space and the vibration to invite that from the other person. If you do that, you will find that the connection and the intimacy and the communication is way deeper than it would normally be if you had not been doing that in the past. And secondly, if they're not, you'll be very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You'll be very aware and on, on guard in a way to detect that bullshit. Because that's what people do. And my wish for you is if you're out in the dating arena and you're single, I would, I would definitely want you to be, have a very refined and effective bullshit detector so that you don't end up meeting somebody who doesn't tell you the truth. Because your heart deserves better than that. This dating... Um, platform or this dating arena that we play in when we're single is hard enough as it is and when people aren't telling the truth it's even harder so please for your own sake be honest now part of this is being is the fear of being vulnerable and I learned a long time ago I'm just guessing how many years it is it's it's that well it's a long time ago now um, I learned a lesson about being vulnerable 
that probably saved my life, and emotionally speaking, not physically, but emotionally. So I'm a big proponent of being vulnerable when you go on dates, being vulnerable when you're in life, and being vulnerable and transparent wherever you, where you go. So you can be seen and be noticed, because vulnerability is your strength. As, as bizarre as it sounds, like being vulnerable feels like, yeah, but I've been naked, I've been seen, I've been spotted. It's like, yes, and nothing will hurt you. Because when you're holding up walls and you're being protective of who you are, those can be knocked down, then you get wounded. There's something about reversing the, the, the script and shifting it away where your vulnerability becomes your strength. Um, the interesting analogy that came up, no, that wouldn't, no, that won't work. Okay, I had an analogy pop up and it does not fit the conversation, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> So my encouragement, again, to repeat from the beginning or to give you a summer, summary is being real, being transparent, being vulnerable is perhaps the most powerful way you can be in the dating arena. When you're withholding from people or you're putting up any um, games out there, then you're really risking pain and suffering. Indeed. So as a encouragement um, in fact I'll invite you to do this if you're somebody who's single out there dating and this is something you want to explore I welcome feedback so please let me know how this goes if you're in that particular bucket or you know way of doing things be transparent be real be authentic and see what happens if you haven't been doing it as well or haven't been doing it at all before this could be a powerful shift for you if you have been doing it before keep going I highly recommend it um, that feels like I've sort of circled, I've circled the <laughs> completion of this story. So I think I'm done with this uh, piece. So I want to just summarize and I invite you to check out my other broadcasts. This is Messages from the Masculine Inspired the Feminine Heart. This is number 285 of my daily broadcast. There's 284 of these, plus this one soon. They're up on my website, which is barryselby.com, where you'll find a bunch of my stuff, including my coaching, my online program, my blog, uh, and the video blog is where this video and all the other videos will live. Also, I offer a discovery session. It's a gift to those people who want to go deep and discover what they really want in love and relationships. And if that's something you're facing a challenge with, I invite you to go to my website and click on the Let's Chat uh, navigation um, button on my website. It's a discovery session that's my gift to you. It's a 30-minute conversation where we can, I can help you get where you want to go, get some clarity, and even show you what I know about, show you what, how I can help you, even. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, if you haven't found my broadcast before, thank you for being here. If you want to share this with people you know, feel free. And if you want to watch my other broadcasts, you can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, as well as on YouTube, which is uh, Barry Selby, is the handle, user handle, and message from the masculine is the playlist. If you have any questions about love and relationships, please reach out to me. Again, you can get a discovery session as my gift to you. Go to web, my website and find out about that, which is barryselby.com. And as always, I invite you to take care of yourself. Be who you're meant to be. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Because when you do that, other people will do the same thing. I'll be back in tomorrow with number 286. And I wish you the best. Have a great evening. I'll see you again tomorrow.